Have you ever felt like your faith is stagnant? Do you find yourself going through the motions but lacking a true connection with God? Maybe you've wondered, am I really walking in obedience, or have I slowly drifted away? These are tough but important questions. Life is full of distractions, and sometimes, without even realizing it, we let those distractions pull us away from God's voice. Today we explore a passage that addresses these very struggles. In Jeremiah 7 verses 23 to 24, God confronts his people for turning away from him, and his words echo through the ages to challenge us to this day. Are we truly listening to God, or are we following the stubborn desires of our own hearts? As we reflect on this passage, let's ask ourselves, are we moving forward in faith, or are we falling backward? But I gave them this command. Obey me, and I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you, that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention, instead, they followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward. Jeremiah was speaking to the people of Judah at a time when they were deeply entrenched in religious rituals but had lost sight of true devotion to God. They were performing sacrifices, attending religious gatherings, but their hearts were far from obedient. God, through Jeremiah, rebukes them for this empty form of worship and calls them back to true heartfelt obedience. In verse 23, God reminds his people of the covenant he made with them. This is more than just a command, it's an invitation to a deep, personal relationship. God's desire was for them to walk with him, to trust in his ways, and to experience the blessings of living in alignment with his will. But verse 24 reveals the heartbreaking reality, they did not listen or pay attention. Instead of drawing near to God, they allowed their stubborn hearts to lead them away. This wasn't a minor slip, it was a conscious decision to follow their own desires over God's will, and it resulted in them moving backward spiritually. Obey me, and I will be your God. Obedience is at the heart of a relationship with God. It's not about blindly following the rules, but about trust. When we choose to obey God, we acknowledge Him as Lord over our lives. It's a daily decision to let His voice guide our steps, knowing that His plans are always for our good. Walk in obedience, that it may go well with you. God's commands are not burdens, they are pathways to life and peace. When we walk in obedience, it's not just about following rules, it's about aligning ourselves with the Creator's design for us. Things go well, not necessarily in worldly terms, but in the deeper sense of living in God's will, where true fulfillment and peace are found. They did not listen or pay attention. This is the tragic turning point. The people heard God's words, but they chose not to listen. How often do we do the same? We hear sermons, read scripture, even sense God nudging us in certain directions, but we don't truly pay attention. We can easily fall into the trap of hearing without obeying. They followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. The people followed their own desires, which were often in direct conflict with God's ways. Their hearts were stubborn, resistant to correction. This is a dangerous place to be, because it blinds us to the truth and leads us away from God's best for our lives. They went backward and not forward. When we refuse to listen to God, we can't stand still, we go backward. Spiritually, we regress, losing the closeness we once had with Him. The saddest part is that this is not God's desire for us. He wants us to move forward, growing deeper in faith and understanding of Him. So how does this ancient passage from Jeremiah speak to us in modern times? In many ways, our modern lives mirror the struggles of the people of Judah. We can easily get caught up in routines, 
going to church, reading devotionals, but is our heart fully engaged with God? Ask yourself, are there areas in your life where you're hearing God but not obeying? Maybe he's been prompting you to make changes in your relationships, habits, or priorities, but you've been hesitant, following your own desires instead. Like the people of Judah, we too can follow the stubborn inclinations of our hearts, leading us away from God. But here's the beauty of God's love. He is always inviting us back. Even when we have gone backward, God calls us forward. His desire is still for us to walk in obedience so that it may go well with us. It's never too late to stop and listen, realigning ourselves with His will. So where do you find yourself? Have you been going through the motions, hearing God's voice but not truly listening? Maybe you've felt like you're drifting away, unsure how to reconnect. Jeremiah's message is clear, God is calling you to walk in obedience, to stop following your own way, and to step forward in faith. God promises that when we obey, He will be our God, and we will be His people. This is an invitation to deeper intimacy with Him, one where our stubborn hearts are transformed by His love. Don't allow yourself to go backward any longer. Take that step forward, and draw near to the God who is always ready to draw near to you. If this message spoke to your heart, take a moment right now to ask God to help you listen and obey His voice in every area of your life. Let today be the day you move forward in faith. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next study, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.